If you're someone who listens to a lot of foreign radio and you live in the UK and use the TuneIn service or use the TuneIn service as part of Sonos, you'll have noticed that a lot of stations recently have just disappeared. TuneIn have had to do that. that. They lost a court case back in November, I think, 2019. And uh, as of September this year, they've had to remove a bunch of links to foreign radio stations. And as far as I'm concerned, my opinion is that that's a real, real shame. As someone who listens to probably more than 50% foreign radio, it's a real shame. And I've no doubt that someone somewhere is making more money as a result. And that's probably all this comes down to. But yeah, it's a real shame. So what options do you have? Well, firstly, you can go to the station's website and you can uh, stream or maybe airplay from there to your Sonos system and that will allow you a way around it. But of course, then you lose the benefit of the Sonos system and you're tied to a phone, etc. Secondly, you could use maybe a different radio service that does carry the station. But from what I've checked, most of them out there don't carry the stations that I want to listen to anyway. So the only other option is a direct link. So where do you find that direct link? That's what I want to cover today. So First thing you need to do is go to a browser and open up the website for the station that you're interested in. In my case, I'm doing two for you here today. I'm going to demo two for you. I've got a Sky Radio and I've got Energy Sweden. They are two stations that I listen to and uh, I'm interested in doing. I've tried Sky Radio already, already and I know this works. So what you need to do is find the um, player on the site. And if you have the option to pop it out, I would probably recommend doing that. It just simplifies things a little bit because you haven't got the rest of the bump from the page when it comes down to inspecting your network traffic. So let's open, let's take out the pop-up player like that. And I'm going to right click on the actual player somewhere. It doesn't matter too much where, but um, I would suggest probably somewhere near the play button. Uh, not really kind of on an ad advertising service or something, you know. And then go to inspect and we're not interested in the source code anymore. A lot of the time in the past, the links for the uh, streams would have been just in the source code, but it doesn't work like that anymore. We're interested in the network section, and we're going to record the network activity as we click the play button. So just click on play here, and then just wait for it to start. And then I'm just going to click on stop. And look down the type here, sort by the type, and go to well, the one that says media. And you'll notice there are two. There's one when you start it, one when you stop it. And the link that's under here, this is the one we're interested in. You'll see it's HTTPS 20103 live stream the world .com, sky radio mp 3 I'm going to right click on that and do go to copy and copy link address. And then I'm going to drop that into the this notepad file here. And anything after the mp3 so basically anything before the question mark is what we're interested in because with a url after a question mark you're then talking about additional queries uh query strings on the url it's not an, a, a part of the fundamental url so we can strip off anything after that and there we go that's what we're left with and if you put that into your TuneIn app or put it into your sonos app you'll find that that will connect directly to sky radio and it will work exactly as it did before except the only difference is you won't get kind of covers and things you know of the um art you won't get the artwork you will get the names of the songs but you won't get the artwork if you're listening on sonos so uh yeah, that's no big deal as far as i'm concerned because it means i can still listen to the station on my sonos so let's try the other one because it is slightly different i just want to show you the difference between them so let's go to energy and they have a media player down the bottom here so that's good i can right click on that and go to inspect Again, go to the network section, and now I'm going to click on play there. Wait for it to start, and then I'm going to stop it again, and now go back to the inspect section, because that's sort of disappeared, hasn't it? So why has that disappeared? So go back to inspect, go back to network, and again, I'm going to sort by type, and there is one media file here, and it is live hyphen bauer se hyphen fm etc etc so right click on that and go to copy copy link address again open up my notepad file go into here and you'll notice that although we don't actually have a file type you know we don't have a normal file extension like mp3 that a stream can still be valid with just an address it doesn't have to have an actual sort of dot AAC or dot MP3 on the end. So just strip off everything after the question mark, sorry, including the question mark. And that I am going to put into my Sonos. I'll show you, just show you that quickly. So manage, add radio station. You can do this from the um, app as well. Uh, you didn't, I don't think you used to be able to, but you can do that now from the app. So streaming URL, 
I'm going to just paste in that link in there and we're going to call it Energy Sweden like that. There we are. So now I'm going to just play that briefly. I can't play it through the actual uh, um, the computer I'm recording on, but uh, the Sonos, I'm going to play it on the studio Sonos in here. So if I go to my radio stations, I've now got Energy Sweden in here. I'm going to play now. And hopefully that should start in a second. There we go. And uh, I think it came up with a commercial there uh, first off, because that's how it works. It comes with, you know, a lot of these streams, they start with a 30-second commercial or a, or a five-second commercial, and then they start the main stream. That's how you do it. Hopefully that helps someone out there. If you've got any questions, do come back to me. Of course, you can't guarantee those stream URLs don't change. You might have to update them or whatever. I, there's no guarantee with any of this sort of stuff. But um, as far as I'm concerned, if it lets me listen to foreign radio again on the Sonos, that's a big plus. So hopefully it helps somebody out there. If you've got any better methods, better solutions, please do put them down in the comments because I always welcome people improving on these methods. These are just the way I've done it and the way I got around it and what works for me. So thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe and uh, give it a thumbs up if you like it. Thanks a lot. See you soon. Bye.